So I got some packages here, new releases I bought today, and posters that I want to show off. So these came from work. I work in a movie theater, I mention this all the time. And uh, we have a system at work where we have so many employees and only so many posters. So if there's a poster of a movie or standee or whatever you want, you got to claim it ahead of time. And if you don't claim it, then... Uh, you know, you're kind of screwed. So I claimed Black Adam. So I got this Black Adam poster. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, uh, these posters, because I don't really have the space for them. Uh, I'm going to figure out something, though. And then this other one here, I kind of regret claiming, but the thing is, you have to claim these before the movie comes out. So I claimed Halloween Ends. Did not think that movie would disappoint in the way it did. And so it was just like, oh... But yeah, uh, and then I went to Walmart this morning, grabbed the Walmart exclusive cover of Nope, which is just the horse's eye, same cover uh, underneath and everything. But yeah, beautiful edition. I really like the girl's messed up face is the 4K artwork. There's no cool artwork on the Blu-ray though, but it's a really nice release and I do really love this cover. It's beautiful and I really love Nope and I need to re-watch that all right this first package here i think i know what this one is holy shit i got a chase uh this pop was like five bucks and this is a This is a, uh, uh, like the Forty Year Old Virgin, uh, which is a funny movie, and I wanted this pop because I I was thinking about the movie and I wanted to rewatch it. And I was ordered this pop because it was five bucks. Now the regular version is him holding Oscar Goldman, and now this one is him holding Steve Austin. That is so funny. Um, great looking pop. Not too interesting of a chase because they look the exact same, same mold and everything. But they're still funny enough, and it's just awesome to have a chase. So I'm keeping that one in the box. Now that I have the chase, that's really neat. I did not expect that. Five bucks was such a good deal for that. Alright, this is Saint Maud. This is a new, uh, newer A24 movie title that came out this year. And uh, it went on sale for five bucks on Amazon. So I ordered that as soon as it went on for sale for five bucks and it came the very next day, which is nice. So, cause I've been ordering movies that have gone down to like five, six bucks or whatever from Amazon and they just take them weeks to ship and even show up. It's nice that this one showed up right away. Um, and it has a slip cover too. I don't know anything about this movie, uh, but a 24 title for five bucks can't beat that and i mean it looks interesting i guess so i still haven't watched men and i need to do that soon so there's still a few other a24 titles i need to watch before that one but still happy to have that one and finally i know exactly what this one is yep this is the uh, Ultraman Magneti. I don't know how you say that. Uh, but this is one of the Ultraman sets. Um, uh, DVD sets at least. Uh, I mentioned before I'm trying to complete my set. I'm so far, far behind. It's hard to catch up. But I'm trying to still try and attempt to get all these. But I found this uh, on Amazon for like 10 bucks, And it was selling out. And I needed this one. So... And, uh, yeah, so I ordered that. And, again, whenever I find these cheap enough, I just order them because the the completionist in me is trying to complete these sets. Uh, this is a really nice DVD set, too. Uh, artwork's really cool and neat. Yeah, but if you like Godzilla-type stuff and Kaijus and, and Power Rangers and stuff like that, it's kind of what Ultraman is. And it's just really cool. I would say it's more akin to what Power Rangers is based on, which is Super Sentai, but uh, 
yeah, this this stuff is really really neat. So I'm glad I finally have that. I still I need still need to start watching those Ultraman sets that I bought because I I'm, I've gotten so many that I don't know which ones I've watched and I haven't. And so I'm trying to make it so I don't have to go back and start over from the very beginning because that's that's gonna be a long process. And then it's like you know, not that I wouldn't enjoy that, but I just I don't have the time to start over. So, uh, yeah. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and it's great to see you guys. See you guys next time.